Breaking news from the U.S. Space and Rocket Center Space Camp. Space Camp has once again accidentally sent children into space. For more on this story, we are live on the scene with Ace Johnson. Ace? Yes, we are live here at Space Camp in Huntsville, Alabama, where you are all probably familiar with the side of the Pathfinder shuttle stack behind me. Usually, there is a space shuttle orbiter on top, but not anymore. For years, it was believed that the Pathfinder orbiter was merely a test article that was used for fit check testing at the nearby NASA Marshall Space Flight Center and Kennedy Space Center in Florida. But apparently, it was in fact a real shuttle orbiter all along. Earlier today, a team of Space Camp trainees climbed inside the orbiter along with five-time shuttle astronaut Captain Robert Hoot Gibson to perform simulations. It was then that a malfunction occurred involving a Space Camp robot who I am told had secretly befriended one of the trainees and they were blasted off into space. Rosie must help NASA. Rosie must help NASA. Now, this is not the first time Space Camp has found itself in hot water for blasting children into space alongside a shuttle astronaut. Back in 1986, Space Camp became a household name for doing the exact same thing. While the experience became a stepping stone for the careers of most of the children involved in that initial incident, Space Camp promised that it would never happen again. I actually spoke earlier with a space camp spokesperson who told me about the precautions the camp had taken to ensure such a thing. Well, yes. Well, to answer your question, after the 1986 incident, we took countless measures to ensure nothing like this would happen again. I, we, we shut down the wormhole that allowed us to travel from here in Alabama to the Cape in Florida in only a matter of minutes. We decommissioned the robot Jinx, who was, as you know, was responsible for the original incident. But I want more importantly to focus on the fact that we are doing everything we can to bring these students back home safely. You know, who, who Gibson is on board and, and he's not only a five-time shuttle astronaut, pilot and commander, but he's also a member of the Space Camp Hall of Fame. And so we know, we know everything is gonna be just fine. But most importantly, once we get these children back and we know we will, we are going to make sure this will never happen again. Thank you. I also spoke with the concerned parents of one of the trainees blasted into space who are choosing to look at the positives. Well, yeah, I mean, of course we're concerned. Um, do, do look, uh, um, you know, it's obviously we're concerned, but it's space camp. The kids will be fine. I'm sure. They'll be fine. You're enjoying this. Well, yeah. We don't, she's up there somewhere, and all you can think about she's with is five, the engineering. I mean, six time in, astronaut. Engineering, now, and she got her background. She's going to be just like her daddy. I know that upsets you. She's not going to be a doctor or a lawyer. She, she's how do be an we engineer. don't even know right now where she is? Well, actually, where? they, they have is. a tracker. Who they? Space camp. They're right there. Oh my God, she's over Canada. She doesn't even have a jacket with her. She'll be all right. No, I, this is. You would they think they would blankets, know about this. It foil? happened before, and it's happened again. Yeah, well, history does repeat itself, just like my wife. Baby, baby, if you can hear me now, we're going to get you back. We are glad that you took this STEM opportunity. We're going to get you back, but your daddy and I are going to have to talk to you about right and wrong ways to use your special STEM powers. Um, I know you're up there with Mr. Hoot. He's the best. I know you're up there with your little friends. But this was a bit much. But your daddy is very concerned about you and wants you to come home. Okay? So if you just help Mr. Hoot land the shuttle. Oh, definitely land it. That'd be good. I love you, baby. I've been told that Space Camp is working in unison with NASA to bring the trainees and Captain Gibson home safely. Space Camp has even set up a shuttle tracker on their website where you can go and keep track of the orbiter's progress as it orbits the Earth before it can reach its re-entry window. For now, I am Ace Johnson. Thank you for that wonderful reporting, Ace. That is an awful story. Our hearts go out to all the family members and parents worried sick about their children. Uh, we trust in the scientists and engineers to bring them home safely. Well, we hope to see you for our 4 o'clock news broadcast. Good afternoon.
Okay, so guys, I think I'm gonna sign up for adult camp. I mean, seems like a cheap way to get to space. Um, we're still on the air. 